Man, two full weeks of school? I don't even know if I can handle that. Well, there's a three-day week in March coming up. Oh, really? Yeah, and then we get spring break, so... Now you're talking. Yeah, but first we have to get through another edition of Your, Your Nightly News. news. Welcome to the 11th edition of Your Nightly News. I'm Matthew. And I'm Jack. Before we get started on our nightly news, let's take a look at a word from our sponsor. Today's show is brought to you by the letter S and the number 11. That's my football number. It's the 11th nightly news. I get that, but what's with the S? It's our story on siblings. But first... Let's look at Scholastic Bowl. Oh, another S. All right, so how do we make this bowl scholastic? What does scholastic even mean? You know, like scholarly or like smart or something. I'm pretty sure we have to sign this bowl up for school. No, I think you gotta give it an A on a paper. Maybe. Oh, what are you guys doing? Oh, you got the bowl. It just goes like this. I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Let's just go ask the Scholastic no, Bowl team. I think this is how you do it. No, we'll go ask the Scholastic Bowl team. So, what exactly is Scholastic Bowl? Well, Matthew, the Scholastic Bowl team is uh, the most elegant team of them all. Uh, luckily, we never have to practice in the gym or sweat at all. It's a very classy sport. Uh, we. Uh, we have buzzers, and we're asked questions, and you buzz in and tell the correct answer to the question. Oh, I see. So, um, when are your upcoming meets? Uh, we have a match every Thursday evening, so we have three more remaining in the season, and normally we play three other schools, and uh, it's, it's a conference standing, so we play different teams to see who's on top at the end. Oh, I see. And um, what do you expect out of your Scholastic Bowl kids? Everything, really. Uh, I expect them to know all sorts of difficult math equations. I expect them to know authors and, and other writers. I expect them to know uh, scientific theories. I expect them to know sports, which they're not very good at the sports. But uh, I, I have very high expectations for them. All right, and last question, what's your favorite thing about being the coach? Uh, my favorite thing is to sit back and watch the students enjoy learning. Uh, we don't have to bounce a ball, we don't have to run anywhere. It's, it's truly a sport of the brain, and I, I really admire the children's brain in this activity. Thank you for your time. Oh, you're most welcome, thank you. First off, introduce yourself, please. I am John, captain of the Phil Chris Scholastic Bowl Nightly News interview team. On my outer left is Logan. On my outer right is Kevin. And we wish the best of luck to the interviewers. Now can you just talk about the Scholastic Bowl team, what you like about it? Well, I enjoy the people. We're not really the best, I'll admit that. But, you know, we win sometimes and the people are great. Uh, I'm really not athletic, and Scholastic Bowl is an opportunity for me to uh, play a sport, or not really a sport, but an activity for the school uh, that's more academic than athletic, and that's enjoyable for me. It's definitely a great experience for me. I think it's really fun that we just get to, like, all answer questions at the same time. All right, now all three of us kind of have one question. How do you make... A bowl scholastic. Uh, well, you see, a long time ago, a bunch of college professors got together and they wanted to combine their two greatest passions into one event, uh, bowling and trivia questions. So that's so Scholastic Bowl started, and the professors would get together and they'd play bowling while answering trivia questions. But since then, everybody's decided that bowling is relatively boring, so we just do the trivia part of it nowadays. 
Very interesting. Now, what is the most... The hardest topic is definitely sports because we're a bunch of nerds. Okay. And let me read the full question this time. But what are some special moments you've had this year? I am now not really given any responsibility during the meets because at the last meet I was the timer and I wasn't timing anything. <laughs> I kept forgetting to start the stopwatch and it was frowned upon, but people are very relaxed during scholastic bowl meets, so I wasn't in trouble or anything. All right, so now to test your scholastic bowl skills, we're gonna go a speed round of questions. So first, how many branches are there in the US government? There are three branches in the US government, legislative, executive, and judicial. That is correct. And what year did Columbus find America? 1492. That is also correct. Two for two. Wow. What color is the house that the president lives in? White. OK, they're three for three. OK, so now we're going to ask you a few questions. Who won the Patriots-Broncos game? Patriots. That is incorrect. Who won the Cardinals-Panthers game? Cardinals, by a lot. Incorrect. No. Leaving it up to me, guys. What baseball team plays in St. Louis? Wait, wait. We should talk about this. It's no, it's not the Cardinals. No, I got The Rams. That is incorrect. All right. Well, guys, thank you for the interview, and you royally beat us. I'm here with Scholastic Bowl manager Olivia. So tell us your role as manager, Olivia. Well, first of all, you spelled Scholastic wrong. And as the manager, I just kind of keep everyone in check and not going crazy, which is kind of hard to do with certain members of the team, you know. But I, then I also play on the team. Yeah. So um, what's your favorite thing about Scholastic Bowl? Hanging out with the people on the bus, for sure. All right, and what do you do like after your Scholastic Bowl meets? Like, what are some post-meet activities? Well, we pack up the bag and hopefully don't forget it, which we have done. And then we usually go to McDonald's and hang out there for a while and then come home. Oh, all right. Uh, do you ever eat cereal after your meets? Not specifically. Oh, all right. Thank you for your interview. You're welcome. So we don't put you on our head. We don't give you an A on a paper and we don't sign you up for school, so what does Scholastic Bowl have to do with the bowl? Hey, hey, hey what are you doing? I'm going to eat some cereal. Cereal. So, after their meats, they go home and they eat cereal. Now I got it. For the nightly news, I'm Matt. <coughs> Drew. That's incorrect. For the nightly news, I'm Matthew. And Jack. That was also our story. <laughs> so let's take a look at another story we did. Fieldcrest siblings. Hey, what's up, bro? Nothing, bro. Mojo. What? What did I say? We all know Drew misses having a brother. Drew, I did! Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Dude, I didn't mean to bring it up. Do you want to go talk to some people who actually have siblings in school? It's okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's go talk to them. Yeah. We're here with the world famous siblings, Zach and Callie. Um, oh, Callie and Zach, sorry. So, what's your uh, favorite thing about being in school with Callie? Well, having my little sister in school with me is a blessing, really. I get to be a better, bigger brother so she can follow in my footsteps and really set her on the right track. And what's your favorite thing about being with Zach? He sets the academic standard really low, so I really have to try, ever. <laughs> oh, what's your favorite thing about each other? Zach, I'll ask you first. Kelly is a very protective little sister. She makes sure everybody treats me right, and I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that, Kelly. Thank you. You're welcome. And you, Kelly? 
Um, I'm going to have to go with uh, the complete opposite right there. He's, uh, doesn't really ever have anything to do with me, so, yeah. Now, like, do you guys ever hang out, or no? All the time. In school, we act like we don't really get along, but we're actually best friends outside of these walls. We hung out for about three minutes yesterday. You guys get along great. Thank you for your time. Thank you! So, Ryan, what are some things you want the people to know about your brother, Ben? I would like them to know that he doesn't really know how to spell his full first name. Can you spell it for him? Uh, B E N Jamin. Benjamin. What are some things you want the people to know about your brother Ryan? Uh, you know, he's a big guy. He's uh, good at school and helps me out around the house. He does help you out. So, how do you guys like being in school together? It's great. I love it. I see him every day and I try and shove him in the most lockers I can. And do you feel the same way? Yeah, except I can't really push him. Um, are you guys twins? Uh, yeah, we are twins. But I got obviously got all the looks and all the athletic ability. Someday I will actually probably be in the Hall of Fame behind us here. And you don't think your brother will? Not a chance. Ooh, that's harsh. And do you ever get the opportunity to help your brother with his homework? Of course, I do. I do all his homework for him. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, well, thank you guys for your time, and best of luck to you. So I'm here with Gwen and Emma. So exactly how did you two get related? I don't want to talk about it. All right, will you talk about how you guys became related? It's this crazy thing called we have the same parents. Oh, I see. So is there anything you hate about um, being at school here with your sister? I don't really see her all that much. Alright, and how about you? I would say that's a good thing, so I don't really like seeing her. Oh, alright. <laughs> and, um, you guys were on the same volleyball team, and was that ever a problem? Yeah, she would push me a lot and yell at me. And was there any problems, or were there any good things about being on the same volleyball team as your sister? Uh, she was good, but she whines a lot, so that's not good. And what is one thing you hate about your sister? She's really messy and annoying. Huh. And what is one thing you hate about your sister? I hate that she thinks I'm messy and annoying. <laughs> oh. Well, you guys kind of get along, I guess. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. All right, I'm here with these two siblings. Now, JC, is there anything that you like about your brother? Um, pass. All right. Brett, is there anything you like about your sister? Wow. When you ask me that question, just so much comes to my mind. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to start with... Nothing. I see. So is there anything you hate about your brother? Yeah, he's a very bad student. Oh, really? Um, is there anything you hate about your sister? Well, I especially hate that she keeps me from being a good student. Every night I try and do my homework, and she always grabs my homework. She'll just throw it, rip it in half, and just be like, wow. She says, homework is for losers. Wow. Um, do you have any comment on this? Yes, he's lying. He's actually a very violent brother. No, I am not! Oh, Brett, Brett, calm down. All right, all right, all right. Now I just have one last question. Do you know who that guy is? Yeah, I thought he was with you. I thought he was with you. He's not your brother? No. Um, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You are not a sibling of either of these two. <laughs> well, that was weird. All right, thank you two for the interview. <laughs> thank you, Brett. Oh, oh. Shake my hand! Cut, cut. Well, Drew, that was nice to talk to those siblings, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, siblings, cherish your brother or sister while you're having in high school. For the nightly news, I'm Jack. I'm Mo Drew. And I'm Drew. I miss you, Ryan. I miss my brother. Dude, man up and get over it already. Well, besides that three-day week, let's take a look at some other upcoming events.
Well, that's our show. Good luck to the boys at regionals. Mojo, that's you at regionals. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys keep being super califragilistic, expialidocious. Decent. We'll see you soon with another edition of Your Nightly News. Nightly.